before we start this video, a large thank you to Keith B, Damien S, and Mamed S for their support on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay guys, today we're going to add the mana slash focus points bar, and we're going to make it so when we cast a spell, we check and see if we have enough points to cast a spell, and if we do, we're going to cast a spell, and if not, we're going to play an animation that kind of stalls us in one place. So, let's go to the HUD, and I'm going to hit 2D and double click on the player UI, and then we're going to go to health bar, and zoom in here and see what's happening. Okay, we're going to stamina bar, I'm just going to right click this and duplicate it, or just hit control D, whatever. And uh, as you can see over here, we have the stamina bar script in that. So I'm just going to lower that down. And I'm going to rename that to, uh, we're going to say focus point bar. I believe that's what it's called in Dark Souls 3 is focus points. I'm going to drag it under here. First, I'm going to unpack this prefab completely. And then I'm going to drag the stamina bar under the health bar and the focus point bar under the stamina bar. And then I'm going to go back to my prefabs and I'm just going to save that as a prefab again. I'm just going to hit replace anyway. And I'm going to change the color on the focus point bar to blue. And I'm going to change the name from stamina to focus point, just like so. Okay, there we go. Click on this color right here. And that looks good. Excellent. Okay. So next, let's go here. And as you can see, we're going to open the script so we can take a look at what's going on here. So. What you could do, instead of making a stamina, health, and focus point bar script, you could just make a script and call it uh, stats, or a stat bar, and you can make it derive from the same class, and just give it a slider and uh, a value to edit, and then depending on that, you can drop them all on the individual bars, but just because we've already started and we have a health bar script and a stamina bar script, I'm going to create a new script, and I'm going to call it focus points bar. And we're basically going to copy the logic from the stamina or health bar, um, Let's get rid of this. Let's place our namespace up here. It's G. Okay, we're good to go. Now back on the stamina bar script, what we can do is just take the slider and the start method here and paste it. And we're actually going to need to uh, take the set maximum and current values as well. And we're going to need to drop in using Unity Engine.UI or else that slider is not going to work. So let's do that. Cool, now I'm just going to change the names on these uh, from stamina to, we'll say, focus points, or focus point. There we go. Paste that here. Paste that here. And we're just gonna do the same thing all over. This is gonna be a pretty straightforward video. We're just going to basically enable uh, some checks before we cast our spell. And we're going to search for the spell on our inventory, and we're going to compare our current uh, focus points to the focus points needed to cast the spell. We actually need to go to the player stats too, though, and uh, set up our focus point stat, because I don't think we have it. Let's remove the stamina bar from that, and let's add the focus points bar script. Cool, excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna drag that bar in there. You shouldn't need to because it's on start, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And I'm actually gonna go and remove component and click apply to prefab. All right, now, over here on the spell item, what we're gonna do, right below spell type, I'm just gonna make a header. Actually, I'll put it up here right below the spell animation. I'm gonna make a header, I'm just gonna say spell cost, and let's make a public int value. And I'm just going to call it focus point cost. I'm going to save that. Now, let's go to our data and our heal player and our spell here. And I'm going to make the focus point cost 35. Next, on our player, I'm going to look for the stats. Let's actually remove or apply to prefab that removed attack we did last video. Now, I'm going to look for the player stat scripts. I think it's down here, but there we go. And we're going to open that up. And as you can see, if we go to the character stats here, uh, we have health and stamina, but we have no way of measuring our focus points or our mana, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to say public int. We're going to say focus points or focus point level. Because I can't think of a better name. Uh, actually, focus level. We'll call it focus level. We'll say 10, public float, max focus level. 
Actually, we're going to say max focus points. And then we'll say public float current focus points. Okay, let's save that. And now in similar fashion to videos we did quite a while ago, we're going to uh, set the max focus points from our, depending on our focus point level. So let's just make a uh, function here called private void set max focus points from focus level. And again, you can make up your own formula for this. I'm just gonna say max focus points equals uh, focus level times 10, just like with stamina and health. And we're gonna return max focus points. And we're gonna need to uh, call that function on start. So we're gonna basically do everything that's done above. We're gonna say max focus points equals set max, max focus points from focus level. And then we're gonna say current focus points equals max focus points. And then we actually need to add the focus point bar so let's do that right under the stamina bar. It's gonna say focus points bar, focus points bar. There we go. Then on the awake, we're just gonna call that below the stamina bar equals find the object of type, focus points bar. Excellent. And then we can come back there on the start function. And under that, we'll just say focus points bar dot set max focus points. And we'll pass the max focus points and then focus points bar set current focus points and we will pass the current focus points. Okay, now we actually have a system to uh, basically give us a way to use our spells and actually drain some points. So on the spell item, what we're gonna do here on the successfully cast spell uh, function, we're actually going to add a function that drains some focus points from us. But first on the player stats, let's make that function. We're gonna say public void deduct focus points. And then we're gonna pass an int. We're gonna say focus points. So this is the amount we're gonna deduct. And then we're gonna say our current focus points equals current focus points minus focus points. That's the amount that we're deducting from the spell. And of course we have to also refresh our UI as well. And we're also gonna check to make sure we're not going below zero. So we'll say focus points bar dot set current focus points, current focus points. And then right above that, we can say, if current focus points is less than zero, then we'll just say current focus points equals zero. Don't wanna go into the negative values. Okay, let's save that. And then back over on spell item, uh, not on attempt to cast, on successfully cast, we're gonna say, Player stats dot deduct focus points and we're gonna pass the focus points cost, which is right here. And since this uh, successfully cast spell is being called from the player attacker on the animation event in the spell, right when you cast a spell, it will deduct the points uh, at the perfect time. So you're not losing them if you don't cast a spell, which is good. So let's go and look up our healing spell here and what we got to do is under attempt to cast spell I'm just going to call the base just in case we use it in the future but we actually need the base um, on the successfully cast spell whoops I didn't mean to paste all that there we go and there we go okay so down here we're just say base dot successfully cast spell and we'll pass the animator handler and the player stats and now whenever we use uh, the successfully cast spell, it also fires the function from the class it derives from on spell item. So then in turn, it will deduct the values necessary. So if we start the game now, and I use the healing spell, as you can see, it does deduct some focus points and the bar will drain accordingly, which is great. Uh, however, the problem is I can keep casting this on into infinity right now. So let's make it so if I'm out, I cannot actually uh, cast the spell. So over here on the player attacker, where it says check for FP, we're gonna say if player stats dot current focus points is equal to or greater than player inventory dot current spell dot focus points cost, then we're gonna cast that spell. Whoops, I think I need to, yes, that's like this, my bad. Okay. Otherwise, 
I'm just going to play an animation. I'm going to say animator handler dot play target animation shrug. And I'm just going to say is interacting so it locks me in there. So if you try to cast spell when you're out of FP, it's going to punish you and lock you in place for a couple seconds and make you susceptible to a hit. Okay, and I'm also going to say just above that if player manager dot is interacting return. That way we can't spam cast. Now if we're already in a cast, we can't just try to cast again. And then we hit play here. And I cast a spell. So as you can see, it drains. Let's try it again. And it drains again. And now if I press it again, I don't have enough. So I shrug. Cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to drop a like. Those help my series get around. And don't forget to leave a comment to appease the YouTube algorithm gods. If you're feeling super generous, check out my Patreon below. I will see you guys in the next one.